Hey guys, welcome back to another, I guess, installment of Ultimate Dark Fan. Here on our Ultimate um, Feed the Beast mod pack world. Um, I've done quite a bit on the streams since the last time I recorded a video. So I'm not going to touch over everything. However, there are a few things that I've done since what would be Wednesday night stream. Um, I finally did it. I did something that I normally don't like to do because um, one of our biggest crutches in this world right now is... I'm sorry about that. I think I've been talking away from the mic. <laughs> one of our biggest problems we've had is power. So I spent some time, made some liquid tesseracts and yes I am pumping lava from the nether into this tank so I'll take you out there real quick I normally don't like doing this however for the sake of moving on with things in this world we have decided to do this and since I'm the main person that plays on this world. Um, there are a few of us that play on here, but um, it shouldn't cause too many issues. Um, I am keeping close eyes on it. Uh, let's get back here real quick. There's a pretty huge lava lake down below here. And so we've got a few redstone engines powering the pump. Got a chunk loader loading just a small chunk. And yes, you can see I called the channel Psy Lava. <laughs> I hated doing it, but that eases our power problems. I'm still going to work on biomass, um, which is the next area we'll go look at. After we peek in, I'll show you the the lava pool as long as this gas down here doesn't shoot me. Let's get something on my bar that resembles a weapon. There we go, just in case. As you can see, <sighs> ugly, ugly lava in the nether. I hate this. I hate it so much. I feel bad doing it. But, I did it. <laughs> that should last us a little while at least. That pump went pretty far down. Let's get back out of here. I feel bad in here. <laughs> I just, it doesn't feel right pumping it from the, from the nether. Let's get back. So yeah, that's our another area. We got our tank, which holds a few buckets of lava. Was that 2,800? Yeah, 2,880 buckets of lava. I made some magmatic engines. They're all up and running, and I have this this energy cell here, if it gets fully charged, will shut off these engines. So I made a new energy cell. Um, how many is this? Eight, nine, ten? Is that right? Yeah, ten engines. So these will not get used as much. I can probably shut that off. Where's the lever? It's right there. Wait, where is the lever? I must have put it underneath somewhere. Is it underneath there? Where did I put the lever? Oh well. Oh. It's getting the redstone signal from that. That's just, uh. Just turn it off. 
No sense having that running. So I moved this energy cell that I had there back to here. And we still have this one here, which is hooked up. Okay, let's go outside. The reeds are growing. <laughs> Squeeze through here. It's a little cramped. So the next thing we're going to look at is the the cow breeding area. <laughs> so these are using mine factory blocks. We have a block down here which is the breeder. You fill it up with wheat. And every so often it breeds a couple cows, which then get pulled, the babies get pulled into the next pen over. And once they grow up, they get pulled into here and get conveyed into the grinder. I've been told it's very gruesome, but you know what? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do things for the greater good. So we also made this auto mob spawner, which you put a safari net, which I have a cow in, and it'll spawn. That cow will get those cows will get sucked through there and through there. And they will get ground up and converted to <gasps> Wow, that's filling up. I need to... Oh, boy. I need to upgrade that chest. Oh, dear. <laughs> I can probably shut off the breeding. Let's do that. There's no sense. We don't need that much. Let's turn that off. And... Oh, my inventory. Here, we'll do this. Since my inventory is full, we will... Do the next best thing and just turn the power off. So these other things here are sewage or sewers, and sewage is draining into this multi tank here, which doesn't stay full. Let's go make it daytime real quick. Maybe we can clear out our inventory too. always faces me the other way. Let's offload some stuff here. We'll put those in our... And we'll keep the wrench on us. Put those in there. Offload those. Oops, there we go. What'd I pick up? Must have been some... Okay. Let me have to come here. No, I don't want on there. There we go. Holy cow. Let's take some of these out. Alright. So these guys poop. Goes into the sewer. Comes over to these composters. Which make fertilizer which then this tree farm uses. Oh. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's constant inventory for me. Do, 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 do. Where did I pick up all these? Oh, I grabbed some out of the chest. Idiot. Old man. And let's just make that so we get two stacks of those. go. Let's go put this. And I've been switching between um, apple juice and water. Now that I have power, I put the liquid dogs up. Dang it! Wait, I can, I can just steal. Let's do this. Yoink. 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 And we'll put 
these here. Oh wait, I just connect that. There we go. Here, let's we're gonna do this. We did this before. I'm not too worried about the water, so we'll break that. Put this fermenter back. There we go. Put mulch in. Mulch is a byproduct of the apples. Put the plant balls in. Let's go get more apples. So the the apple juice gives us one and a half times our output, and I think the mulch is a multiplier as well. I can't remember what it is. Off the top of my head. There. Pull the mulch out. Okay, we'll leave that there. Fill our inventory up with that. So that's getting our biomass. Which we have a couple engines charging cells. So pretty much this bluestone, blue electricity stuff is not being used. So that's pretty much what I've worked on the past day or so on the stream. Um, we did make a few new things. We got the Coin of Fortune, the Sojourner Staff, which lets you place torches from remotely. It's pretty handy. And this device picks items up when it's enabled. Items and XP. And we also had fun with our gravity gun. <laughs> so we will go grab a melon. And we're going to launch it over at our hill over here. Oh, don't hit the water again. There we go. The other day I launched one and it landed and blocked the waterfall. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> one more. We'll do one more. And go. There we go. So that's our gravity gun. We had fun with that. It's pretty handy. You can pick up chests that have items in it and relocate. Pretty cool stuff. Oops. Oh, there. What kind of chest was that? I need to make. So we'll have to upgrade that chest before we turn that back on, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We got a leather and beef for days. Uh, finish up my baked potatoes. So. <laughs> Other than that, I've done a lot of caving. I've managed to find the this portal frame, two portal frames in a dungeon. So that now links to this village where Lady Onyx has set up shop. So I was able to use my portal gun that I found just to get back and forth between dungeon or er, caving trips and stuff. So, that's about going to wrap this up. It's, I know it's a short episode, or update, or installment, and what have you. But I know I hadn't uploaded anything in a while, and this was just an easy way to keep people up to date on what I've done since the last stream. Um, this was a lot of fun messing with that. So, we're going to keep exploring the mine factory stuff. I see some XP over there. Let's grab it. You shift right click and it'll pull things close to you. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, that's going to wrap it up for now and I will see you guys on the next stream. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitch or follow me on Twitter and you'll see when I stream next. So until next time, I will talk with you guys later. Bye-bye.